RPCS3 has recently came up with a new update, adding a ton of performance improvements, making you to be able to play exclusive games with much higher frame rate. One of these massive improvements includes Metal Gear Solid 4. Now you can play this game on your RPCS3 without installing a custom build. Patches that will make the game run even smoother. But the problem is that some of these patches are not official. Even the official patches do not seem to appear in the patch menu, so you need to add them manually. But you know, that takes a lot of time and effort, so I decided to make an additional patch file containing all the patches, and all you need to do is to download this file and paste it near your original patch file. The good thing about this separated file is that you can update your patches with RPCS3 unlike before, and it has no interference with the original patches. Add your game to RPCS3. Make sure your game is updated to version 2.0. If you don't know how to update your games, I will mention the video about updating. Now it's time to apply game patches. Download the patch file and copy the file within the zip into your patches folder. The folder's location is where you installed your RPCS3. Paste that file next to your patch.y ML and make sure RPCS3 is closed. Now you want to head back to RPCS3, right click on the game and select manage game patches. And now you can turn on the patches. Just make sure to enable Spur's urgent command hack based on your firmware. In my case it's 4.88. Turning on other patches depends on your system. If you have a low-end system, you want to turn on all the patches except the ones that don't really affect performance. Disabling HUD and remove fog don't really affect performance, so it's okay to turn them off. After you applied the patches, click save. The last thing we need to do is to configure the game settings. Go ahead and right click on the game, select create custom configuration, go up to the GPU tab, change the frame limit to 60, set Z call accuracy to relax, then go up to advanced tab, check accurate RSX reservation, now head over to driver wake up delay. The wiki page recommended number is 200 microseconds but if you have experienced crashing you can bump it up to 500 and keep in mind do not go further from a thousand and at last change the V blank rate to 240 click apply and save now your game is ready to be played if this was helpful to you guys like and subscribe to my channel for more of these contents